Okay, so I was coming up to my brother Sam's because I needed to pick up this quad for another video and I thought, you know what, we should do a quick video of taking the Tesla off-road because it's pretty entertaining and it's really going to annoy people. People get really irritated seeing me tow with a Tesla, they get really irritated me mistreating it. So here you go, we're going to take it off-road and take it through a river as well. So we're towing a Yamaha Kodiak, it's a 450cc, fair bit of weight in it, and we're towing with a standard range Model Y. The interesting thing about this is it's a, the standard range being rear wheel drive. You can see this is pretty treacherous terrain, but there's enough clearance for the Model Y to, to just cruise over all of these all of these different dents and whatnot, sticks. I've, I've never had anything hit yet. And you can see the holes in the ground are pretty significant. As for what angle, well, we're on a hell of an angle right now. I would say vertical would have to be close to that. No dramas. The, the Tesla is astounding with the, its low weight due to the batteries. It's such a good car. And I know people have this thing, oh, it's, it's high voltage, blah, blah, blah. It is still just a car. They're, they're that well built. You don't need to prissy them around. You don't need to treat them differently. That being said, I'm not treating this differently. I would have taken any of my cars. I even took my Holden VASS off-road the exact same fashion as I'm doing now because I wanted to drop the buggy down closer to the creek where we were going to camp and I didn't want to camp away from my car. So I just drove my Holden SS straight through paddocks deep, deep grass and it did fine. No dramas at all. There's not much cabin noise. It's still super quiet. I'm on the gravel now, so it's just picked up a bit of noise. It's towing like it's absolutely nothing behind it. So going uphill or downhill, honestly, the only time I have trouble is in the wet grass where the wheels want to spin and it's not to do with anything but the traction control. It's so sensitive and all you need to do to get that traction going is spin the wheels. In fact, I'd love if they entered a new mode which was off-road or something along those lines or wet grass. I know they have snow mode, but I've tried that one since and it didn't seem to help me. I really want to be able to spin the wheels in the wet grass to spin the wheels. You can burn through some of that moisture and, and really get going when you suck, basically. So you can see here there's a hell of an angle going on, but the car does it like nothing. There's big ruts, like you have a look, I'll put my wheel right in this rut here. And there's enough body clearance, there's enough ground clearance, it's not a problem. It doesn't scratch at all. Obviously I'm not going to just smash it across stupid potholes, you have to drive sensibly. But the car is completely adequate for this type of thing. Now up here we're going to get to a creek, and to be honest I don't know if we're going to get through. It, I know it's a rocky bottom, so we find in that regard. There's a very low flow, so we'll be fine in that regard. But just that traction that I'm going to get on two wheels, you know, with the car in itself, I'd like to say I'd do it, no dramas. But towing this quad is going to make it just that little bit more interesting. Now here we go. Oh, well, the water's gone. Mm. Okay, so we're down at the river now, and it's not flowing. I actually went through this a week ago, and there was a couple inches in there. That's no dramas either way. It's going to be interesting because this thing's really steep. Okay, so we've got rid of the complication of the water, which is good because I don't have my boots on, but it's still very, very steep, as you can see here on the side camera. Going down, no dramas. There's just plenty of clearance. You can see there's lots of rocks here, lots of sticks. There's still a heap of water off to our left. But that exit, that exit is just really something else. I can't, I'm just going to get the drone up on that and just show you how bad this exit is. I can't believe I went up that. So that is just so, so steep. This is something that in the past only ATVs have really gone up and I'm about to take my rear wheel drive Tesla up. Let's see how we go, eh? Hey? You just stay there, you'll be right for now. But she makes it like it's nothing. Remember, we're towing a quad behind us and a trailer. That is no mean feat and it does it like it's absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm now gonna head back down into the creek the other way. So this is really gonna show just how steep it is. Oh, and we might end up dragging the ass, I don't know. So far so good, nice and gentle. There's a tow bar and we're free. So there you have it, like it's absolutely nothing. Look at the speed this thing can get out of here. Absolutely no dramas. 
towing or not towing, the Tesla is a phenomenal car and I highly recommend it to everyone. And I really just wanted to make this video just to get it out of everyone's minds that this is such an unusual thing that you can't do normal car stuff with. You can do anything you want. I've towed car trailers with it. I've towed my boat. I've launched my boat with it. I've towed my boat over a significant distance. I've driven to Melbourne. And you know what? In every single circumstance, it was flawless. It's a fantastic car. And if you're on the fence of buying an EV or an ICE car or internal combustion engine, you honestly would be a fool to buy the ICE car, assuming you're looking to get a car with similar specs in height and weight. If you're looking for an SUV full drive that can tow three and a half tonne, yes, the ICE car is still the way to go and it probably will be for another five years because the battery capacities just aren't there yet to do that heavy towing over long distances. But for now, for a general car to go just to the farm and back or just take the kids to school, this is an absolutely flawless vehicle. I know that everyone's getting used to EVs, but if you think back in, in 2010, yes, that was 13 years ago already, 2010, and the hottest cars out there were these massive six litre, you know, these massive, massive cars. And now, like the fastest production cars on the road are electric. Tesla are doing an astounding thing here and I'm all for it. If you have a look at that quad that's on the back, that's gonna be my next project. I'll give you a hint, I'm tying it in with this Barbie car. If you know what's going on, put it in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.